Hello Aries, this is Chelsea. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I appreciate your love and support. Today we are going to find out what are the important love messages for you. And Aries, please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not apply to each and every one of you. Aries, today's reading is going to be slow, okay? I'm just in a slow mood and I'm gonna reading I'm gonna be reading very slowly instead of how I would used to read fast. <laughs> Sometimes too fast, perhaps. Anyway, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me. Important, accurate love messages for Aries today. Power at the bottom of the deck. Aries, whatever the chaos is right now, whether it's within yourself, could be mentally or emotionally, everything is going to be fine, okay? Because we've got the full here and this is actually your energy. It's almost like with the tower, some things need to be demolished before it can be rebuilt. So I do sense uh, somebody rebuilding their life here, okay? But Aries, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. Could either be you or your person you are thinking about or dealing with. I do sense with the Five of Swords here in reverse and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Somebody is releasing themselves from this connection where it could have been very stressful. It could have been some mind, mind games or someone not being truthful. We've got the Queen of Swords in reverse could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There is an energy here where somebody is resenting somebody, perhaps for lying or again, I do sense that with the tower here. Okay, so with all of these swords here, swords indicates, you know, communication, thoughts. But I feel that um, between you and your person, either there is somebody who does not always tell the truth, or there could have been communication issues, okay? But whatever the case is, somebody wants to talk here. Let us know. Somebody is coming in pretty fast. It's a very fast energy with the Knight of Swords. It could happen today, within one day, within one week, within one month. But it does look like someone is returning and they really want to talk. However, there's another person here. It could be you or your person. The Queen of Swords is not looking at the Knight of Swords here. So she's facing the other way. Someone may want to talk while the other person is refusing to, okay? Because they're thinking about liberating themselves from this person, from this connection, as it has been way too stressful. We've got the hangman in reverse. It's almost like someone realizing something, seeing things in a completely different perspective now. Now they want to talk. This may come to you as a surprise with the tower here. You maybe will, you maybe you wouldn't expect it, okay? Or it could be you trying to surprise somebody and talk to them. Rules can be reversed in this reading, okay? got the empress in reverse somebody is just so sick and tired of giving nurturing this connection and they can be feeling it could be you or your person feeling that this is a losing battle i might as well just walk away i might as well just walk away who needs to stress right and with the tower here again it could be a surprise communication surprise uh how do you say the chariot indicates someone just could be showing up at your doorstep, okay? Or just sending you an unexpected message. It does indicate someone to, uh, thinking about or planning to make a forward movement, okay? Perhaps towards you. Or you could be thinking about making a forward movement towards somebody from your past. But the chariot could also indicate somebody feeling there is no point anymore in this connection and that it is time to walk away completely. 
Queen of Wands is in reverse. For some of you, the lies, if you're dealing with a liar, the lies would have been because of another person. If it's not a third party situation, Queen of Wands in reverse. Also, I feel like someone may be feeling less than passionate to revive this connection or not wanting to pay attention to all of this drama or to this person. It's uh, specifically, I feel like it's a specific connection here, okay? Um, got the Two of Wands in reverse and we've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. However, it does look like someone still hasn't moved on yet, still feeling really stuck, and finally going to make a decision to talk, okay? Got the Ten of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. This is so lovely. <laughs> I love this energy, Ten of Pentacles. To me, this is the best card anyone can get when in terms of uh, money, in terms of relationships. And it does look like this could be a surprise offer, okay, of taking this relationship to the next level, healing this connection. Nice. So we've got the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. For some of you, I would say some of you, only about 20% of you that this may end up being a successful re reconciliation okay only 20 percent i'm saying that because i'm seeing the two of wands in reverse and also because there's a six of cups here in reverse so it does look like someone may have bad memories in regards to somebody in the past ten of pentacles this may have been a surprise for some of you this could be a past surprise of someone having another relationship elsewhere but this may also indicate a surprise offer of taking this relationship to the next level. Asking to give this person a second chance could be you or your person. But Page of Pentacles is in reverse and we've got the Three of Cups here in reverse as well. Despite the love, okay, despite the feelings, um, perhaps about, I would say, 60% of you may reject this offer uh, of reconciliation, okay? Hmm. Even though there is love, even though the feelings are still there. Because someone can't get over what had happened in the past. Alright Aries, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with four videos on the screen right now. These are the videos from my second channel. It's a mixture of vlogs and tarot. Okay, it's a new channel. If you guys are interested, please check it out. If not, it's fine too. And I hope to see you tomorrow at your next reading. Take care, Aries. Bye.